Hello again. Um, just recently, I've been having a play with um, indigo blue gilding gum and luscious pigment powders. And I made this card um, for a friend to give to her goddaughter. Um, I've just got a few bits of leftovers here and I thought I would just try and see if I can do a kind of a bit of a mixed media -y type little tile um, just to use up these odds and ends and have a little play, a little practice. Um, I've got the tail end of, of some gilding gum here. This morning I tried twice to make a video um, for <laughs> a card I was making for a friend of mine and all sorts of things went wrong. I lost one of my little embossing dies, this one in fact, into my die cutting machine. Because they don't cut into the, the card, they just sort of make an impression. They stay on the top. As I was pulling it out, it jumped off the plate and <laughs> fell right inside. And I was panicking. Finally got that out. Um, I was trying to emboss a number and I used a die that wasn't an embossing die. It was a cutting die and <laughs> cut the number up. So, you know, it was a bit of a bit of a lost a lost um leader really anyway i'm going to try and use i've got the tail end as i say of some gilding gum here in the bottom into which i've put some of this it's called rapunzel and i thought i would try for instead of using um a sponge i would try applying it with a brush and i've got two more colors here of luscious pigment powder which i thought i would try and add to the tile without mixing it with gilding gum because of, as I say, this, the, this pot's finished and I didn't want to open the new one. Uh, oh, and see if I can apply it dry. So first of all, I'm going to add some dimension to this tile by um, using some embossing dies and sticking on some additional die cuts. So let's just try and do that. <laughs> I'll try and not leave it in the leave one of them in the machine. These three are from a, a German company called Creative Depot. Um, I've just had another shipment from them today, actually, with lots of goodies. So I'll be playing with those later. So I'm just going to emboss these. They 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 use the same um, sandwich as a regular cutting die. So. They just go through, and I'll be careful this time not to lose it into my die cutting machine. I was panicking. I looked online to see what you did to see if you could, you know, take the machine apart or something, and uh, didn't work out. And you know that's moved. Oh Lord! Never mind. Let's just carry on. I think it's one of those days today. Let's hope it doesn't. Uh, at least I found my die again, so that's one good thing, isn't it? Really shouldn't have um, moved them up and down. I thought I'd do a bit of over stamping afterwards and add um, some embossing, but we'll see. This is a funny shape style. When I look at it on the back, I don't know where this one came from. Let's have a look. Let's just stick it on somewhere. Anything that adds dimension is going to be a bit more interesting when it comes to covering it with gilding gum and pigment powder. Let's, let's stick some more of these on. Let's just have a general enjoy. Here we go. I intend, um, whoops, stamp over stamping with these two things as well would help if they stayed stuck on, wouldn't it? It needs a little time just to sort of settle. I hadn't realised that this one is quite so asymmetric, really. Right, I've got one more. Might as well just use them. As I say, I'm, I'm just using up leftovers but this morning's attempts were just horrendous 
I stopped to try and cut another um, number that I'd cut up with the uh, the wrong kind of dye. I don't know. It's just an absolute, as they say, pig's breakfast. Let me just push these down. Okay. There we go. Right, a whole bunch of stars. Let me cut off the excess. There we go. Right, now I'm going to apply this with that brush. I don't know if it's going to work. I haven't tried it. And these ones I want to try and apply while that is still wet with a dry with a um, perfect pearls brush. So let's just see how we get on. Goes on rather well. Very sparkly. Look at this, my goodness. This one, you can see the brush marks in it. I don't know if I put it in the right place. Let's just see. Right. I'm just going to put the lid back on that for a moment. I can't get it right on. Careful, I'll just do it in a moment. Let's, now let's just try some of this dry. Ooh, lovely. Look at this. That's nice, isn't it? I'll put the top on this one. Give us a little bit of a around some um, not as much colour. Let's try some of the other one on there. That's nice, isn't it? I can actually see the um the the line this is a really quite a stiff brush if i'd used um maybe a not such a strong bristled brush i wouldn't have had those brush lines never mind we'll just carry on and see what we can do right i'm just going to give this a quick wipe because i don't want it to it does dry fairly quickly and we have the wet wipes too Just don't want it to set hard. There we go. All right, I have got a, um, a stencil here as well. I was thinking I might try a bit of a stencil. Let's try it. Let us try it and see. Put this away. It's kind of nice, this little thing, isn't it? This stuff is water soluble, so it does wash out. Now, I'm going to try and dry this because I'd like to try and do some some stamping as well. So let's just see. Um, okay.
I just thought of a very small stamp that I might get. What I don't like about this, I don't know if you can see it, is the uh, the, the brush, la brush marks from this brush. It is just, it's the, 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 they're too stiff. The bristles are just too stiff for this medium, I think. Okay, let me, I could use that one. Where would that go? Anywhere, really. Let's just have a go. Let's just have a go. I'm not sure how dry that is. Because what I don't want is my embossing powder to to stick to it. Let's just see. Let's see. We'll, we'll try it. This is kind of mini mixed media, isn't it? I don't know if it's made a difference. Let's just see. Have I got some embossing powder? Oops, amazing. Ah, oh, silver. I don't want silver. I want gold. Here it is. Is this gold? Yeah. I don't want it to stick to everywhere. I just want it to stick to what I stamped. Let's just see if it does. Oh, not bad. Not bad. Okay, let me just heat set that a moment. Then I'll do some of the um, the text. This is a bit of French text as well. Let me just heat set this. I might put that on somewhere else as well, actually. Let's put a bit on somewhere else of that curly one. Let's try it. There we go. Yeah, I think that's okay. Put this back. And heat set that. Okay, now the last little bit is a bit of this text. Don't know quite where we're going to put this bit, but we'll see. I think that's the right way up. Okay. Reverse the mark. We're going to the theatre this evening to see the Lavender Hill Mob. It should be fun. There we go. Let's try that. Okay. There's my lid. I'm going to heat set this. That's quite a nice little tile. And I've got those extra colours on without mixing with the gilding gum. I managed to get it on without mixing more. I think that's rather nice. Um, I'm just wondering about a bit of gold around the outside. I think that might be quite nice. Let's just try it. I 
going to say about that next night. Now I can either use this just as a backdrop or um, I could use it as um, a tile in itself, really. Or maybe use some... Oh, that looks quite nice, I think. Let's uh, put this back in the pot. And we'll heat set that. it's off. So there we are, a really quick little mixed media tile. I suppose you call it mixed media, I'm not really into mixed media so I hope it's it's kind of legit. But it's got stamping, it's got uh, embossing, it's got uh, some additional stuff on, what would you call it, collagey stuff on the top? I don't know, there you go. So I need to just pop this onto a card now. There we are, mixed media. <laughs> in one easy lesson. I think I'm the one who needs to take the lessons really. But anyway, I enjoyed it. It was fun. And as ever, thanks so much for watching.